You read that title right, we now have two coronavirus vaccines. Moderna just announced the good news and its shares are on the rise. Even though we now have a record amount of new COVID cases around the world and now in every state in the United States, the stock market is green. Companies that were selling at a discounted price like banks, airlines and oil companies are no longer selling at that super discounted price. We are suffering now but the market does not care and has its eyes in the near future. You will know everything about it right now. Moderna is the second company to put out a vaccine against coronavirus. Pfizer vaccine was the first vaccine to come out and it was 90% effective, but Moderna's vaccine is even better and it's 95% effective. Pfizer Volunteer Vaccination Group had 45,000 people and Moderna's Volunteer Vaccination Group had 30,000 volunteers. If you are happy the pandemic is coming to an end and our lives are going back to normal, please do drop a like and if you're new here, also please subscribe and hit the bell. Moderna's vaccine has a plus, which is it can be stored in regular freezers. In contrast to the Pfizer vaccine that requires special freezers, it requires a deep freeze temperature. We have 8 billion people in the world and mass producing vaccines is not easy and delivering that vaccine to the final destination can be very challenging. Moderna has an advantage here, making transportation easier. In my opinion, these two vaccines and even newer vaccines that come out can all be useful tools in this fight against this virus. All indicates a few million vaccines will be ready this year and it will probably go to first responders and high-risk individuals. By vaccinating doctors and nurses first, we stop the spread of the virus a little bit and also once a doctor and a nurse are down, it, it makes it very difficult to keep everybody else getting serviced. Experts say that by April of 2021, the vaccine will be available to everybody, me and you, and by this time of next year, fall, the pandemic will be a thing of the past. Write your comments, thoughts and ideas in the comments section down below as I go over these great news. On CNBC.com Health and Science, the headline says, Moderna says, preliminary trial data shows its coronavirus vaccine is more than 94% effective share soar. Moderna said preliminary phase 3 trials data shows its coronavirus vaccine is more than 94% effective in preventing COVID-19. The company CEO Stefan Bensel called it a game changer. Shares of Moderna jumped in pre-market trading. Moderna said preliminary phase 3 trial data shows its coronavirus vaccine is more than 94% effective in preventing COVID-19. A result CEO Stefan Bensel called a game changer. The analysis evaluated 95 confirmed COVID-19 infectious among the trial's 30,000 participants. Moderna, which developed its vaccine in collaboration with the National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases, said 90 cases of COVID-19 were observed in the placebo group versus 5 cases observed in the group that received its two-dose vaccine that resulted in an estimated vaccine efficacy of 94.5%, it said. Shares of the company jumped more than 12% in pre-market trading. The announcement comes on the heels of similar news last week from Pfizer's late-stage COVID-19 vaccine trial as pharmaceutical companies across the world race against the clock to find ways to prevent the virus, which has spread to more than 54.4 million people, killing more than 1.3 million. According to data compiled by John Hopkins University, this is a pivotal moment in development of our COVID-19 vaccine candidate. Benson said in a statement, since early January, we have chased this virus with the intent to protect as many people around the world as possible. All along, we have known that each day matters. This positive interim analysis from our phase 3 study has given us the first clinical validation that our vaccine can prevent COVID-19 disease, including severe disease. The Cambridge, Massachusetts-based company also said there were no significant safety concerns, adding the vaccine was generally safe and well tolerated, with the majority of adverse events in participants being labeled as mild or moderate. Side effects included pain at the injection site and after the second dose, 
fatigue, muscle pain, and headaches. Knowing that we have a vaccine that would help more people who would take it is just a wonderful feeling, Benso said in an interview with CNBC. As you know, a lot of people have been reluctant in service to take a vaccine because I think we're worried about the politicization of a vaccine. They're worried about what you get with a flu shot, you know, 50% to 60% efficacy. With an efficacy rate of 95%, that's a game changer, I believe, he said. Benso said, the company plans to test the vaccine in teens very soon, followed by children under the age of 12. We have to be very, very careful because safety is priority number one, he said in a separate interview on CNBC's Squawk Box, adding most trials test vaccines on healthy adults first to assess safety. Investors were expecting Moderna's vaccine to be highly effective after Pfizer, another frontrunner in the COVID-19 vaccine race, said last week that its product was more than 90% effective. Moderna's candidate, like that of the Pfizer-BioNTech partnership, is using messenger RNA or mRNA technology. It's a new approach to vaccines that uses genetic material to provoke an immune response. Moderna said on Monday its vaccine remains stable at 36 to 46 degrees Fahrenheit, the temperature of a standard home or medical refrigerator, for up to 30 days. It can be stored for up to 6 months at negative 4 degrees Fahrenheit. By comparison, Pfizer's vaccine requires a storage temperature of minus 95 degrees Fahrenheit. Moderna told investors on October 29 that it was actively preparing for the global launch of its potential vaccine after completing enrollment in its phase 3 trial a week earlier. It said about 37% of participants were from minority communities and 42% had other conditions or age that put them at high risk of severe disease. Males outnumber females in the trial by 53% to 47%. Out of 95 COVID-19 cases, 20 participants identified as being from diverse communities including 12 Hispanic people, 4 African Americans, 3 Asian Americans and 1 multiracial. 15 were adults over the age of 65. Moderna said it plans to apply for emergency use authorization from the Food and Drug Administration in the coming weeks. The trial will continue to accrue additional data relevant to safety and efficacy even after an application submitted, the company said. By the end of the year, Moderna expects to have approximately 20 million doses of the vaccine ready to ship in the US, the company said. It said it remains on track to manufacture 500 million to 1 billion doses globally in 2021. The company already has supply agreements in North America, the Middle East, and in other regions of the world. It announced in August that it had reached a deal with the US government to supply 100 million doses of its vaccine. The deal gives the federal government the option to purchase up to 400 million additional doses. The US had already invested $955 million in Moderna's COVID-19 vaccine development, bringing its total investment up to $2.48 billion. The company said at the time, in August, Moderna said it was charging between $32 and $37 per dose for its vaccine for some customers. Under cheaper pandemic pricing. The company said it was in discussion for larger volume agreements that will have a lower price. Each vaccine costs about $35. I think most people would go and take it right away. It's money, but it's not hundreds, $35. It is a chance the government may buy the vaccine and give it to its population so the economy can start picking up again. A vaccine usually takes about a decade to be done and under an year, it, it's we are already here. Humans have accomplished the unaccomplishable, but at the cost of putting all other studies, every single doctor dropped everything they were doing, every single scientist stopped all cancer studies, everything, all other diseases are on pause and stopped. But we accomplished this. We have a co we have multiple COVID, COVID vaccines now. CNBC also put up a small clip that would like us to take a look. To talk about all of this, we're going to bring in Stefan Bonsell, the CEO of Moderna right now. Stefan, thanks for being with us this morning. Another historic day, 94.5% efficacy for your vaccine. Help us understand what this means. The second vaccine to show such high efficacy for getting us through this pandemic. I think it's great news. We are all excited last week when we heard the good news about the Pfizer vaccine. And I think uh, with the data that we are presenting this morning, it just hope that we should be able to get those vaccines soon 
into a marketplace to help vaccinate people at high risk to stop the pandemic. Well, you also disclosed some more data at the severe disease. You saw 11 cases of severe COVID-19 in your trial, and there were zero um, among people who got the vaccine. So tell us what that means. I mean, this could really keep people out of the hospital, potentially prevent you know, this, this severe disease and even potentially death, although it's probably too early to say that, right? Yes, and I think this is actually the data that excites me the most, Meg. Of course, we are delighted that the vaccine as close to 95% efficacy. But as you said, what we all want is if somebody gets infected, that they don't get severe disease. Uh, and that's the, the great news we had yesterday when the uh, independent NIH-led you know, data safety monitoring. What he's saying is that people who took the vaccine, even is 95% effective. So in every, what, 105 people, I don't know, some people may catch it, but the people who catch it is not severe. They don't get severely diseased and they don't die. So if you take the vaccine, even if you, even there is a chance you might take it, it's much smaller, but if you take it and you can just ride through, you don't even go to the hospital. Yeah, that does sound like a game changer. But shared with us all those data yesterday early in the afternoon. That was the news that we were most excited about, is if this can hold with a bigger number, I want to re remind everybody, this is the first interim, 95 case, the full study will be complete at 151, so we have to wait a few more days, it's going to come pretty soon, given the quick pace of cases that we are all observing in our studies. So, so we, are, we are really excited about what this could mean for patients, and we're working very closely to Operation Warp Speed to get this in the hands of uh, Americans, as soon as, of course, the FDA has the ability uh, in the coming weeks to review uh, the file under an EUA. One of the other really important things that experts are, are looking at here is the impact on different age groups, people of different backgrounds who have underlying conditions. And you did have some more data there. Um, tell us what the data that you have seen suggests about how well this vaccine works for older people, for example. Yes, and I don't have that data yet, Meg. As you know, those are interim data. Uh, what we have is basically what we put in a press release, as we have done in the past months. We want it to be extremely transparent, so everything that I've learned yesterday, you are seeing this morning. Uh, but I think because of the number of cases at 11 for severe, uh, this was a number that starts to be kind of meaningful. As you might remember, in the FDA guidelines for EUA, they said they wanted to see at least five severe cases, so we're very happy to already be at 11. Uh, so as we get more data, I think around the time we file the EUA in the coming weeks, we will share those uh, description by demographic. And of course, everybody is going to want these vaccines at more than 90% efficacy. There's not going to be enough at the beginning. Tell us about your supply, 20 million doses in the U.S. this year, more next year. What is the pace that we in the U.S. And, P and countries around the world will start to be able to get this vaccine? So you might remember the first agreement that we reached with the U.S. government was for an order of 100 million doses. So we anticipate to be able to ship up to 20 million of those 100 million before the end of the year. So we are making product, as you know, every day and stockpiling it. And assuming we get the green light from the FDA, uh, I would say sometime in December, uh, I'm sure General Perna from Operation Valve Speed will be ready with the trucks to load the product and to distribute it in the US via the CDC guidelines. And then every week we'll be making more and more product. And once the product is approved, basically every time we have a lot that is approved by the quality control unit of Moderna as meeting specification, will be shipped right away. We need that every, every day is going to matter. Uh, and we anticipate those 100 million doses to be uh, shipped to the US government in the first quarter. Uh, and, and that's what is really exciting. So I think with our vaccine and the other vaccine, that's, that's a good hope that we should be able in Q1 to get people at high risk vaccinated in the US if they desire so. The vaccine is ready. Now, mass producing it is a challenge and then distributing it another challenge. But so many people already took it and so many people will keep on taking it. By the time the vaccine is available for me and you, regular people, I think we'll just feel, we will feel safe taking it because so many other people will have already taken it. And so far, so good. They should get to phase three trials because they already tried in the other phases and everything so far, so good.
Thank you so much for watching this video. Feel free to check out some of the other videos coming up on the next screen. Have a wonderful and COVID-free day.